vlog here, last one of the year. Just wanted to get one more in before, uh, before the year was over. You guys can tell I am driving right now. I'm trying to not haul ass so you guys can hear me. I don't have my mic yet. Um, just want to give you guys some updates. Tell me, there, tell you guys how this year went with the channel, future of the channel, what the plans are for next year. Um, if you guys see the camera move side to side like this, it just means I'm turning the wheel. I have it mounted on my steering wheel right now. That way it's a little easier. I could have probably used a suction cup now that I think about it stuck it on the window, but oh well, too late. So, I'm going to be uploading a lot more in 2015. I'm going to be uploading probably about three, maybe four videos a week, maybe one or two more than that. I don't know. It just depends on how much time I have with school and how much time I have to edit all the videos and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing more, uh, the videos are going to be vlog style videos. I can't really tell you much more than that because it's going to be pretty top secret until you guys see it. Uh, you guys will probably have to wait about a week, week and a half. I should get the equipment in at the beginning of next week, uh, around January 5th. So you should start seeing the videos towards the end of next week. Ooh. I would say probably the latest I would have the first one up would be January 9th, which is next Friday. Uh, I'll have to stay on the editing. Uh, it's gonna be really cool though. I can't wait to do it. I've seen a lot of people doing it lately. Uh, I've been thinking about doing it for the last couple months, but I just haven't done it yet. But now I'm just saying, you know what? Screw it. Let's get the equipment. Let's do it. And I should be starting in the next, like I said, week and a half. Now, let's do a little recap of 2014. 2014 for my channel has, it's had its ups, it's had its downs, but I haven't really been uploading that much. That's my, that's the downfall. Uh, I haven't gotten a uh, HDMI to component cable transfer box, whatever you want to call it. I need to get that so I can record with my Xbox One on the Hopage HD PVR so I can still stream it off my Mac. Otherwise, I have to go out and buy a new computer or HD PVR or whatever. I like using the software that Hopage gave me with ITV and all that stuff. So I'm, I want to stick with that. I just have been really lazy about buying. The part I actually need to transfer is probably about like 60, 70 bucks. I've been sinking my money on a lot of other stuff right now. As you guys can see, I'm driving a completely different car, but that's what I've been putting all my money into. Uh, all I can say is it's a BMW. I'll put New Year's Eve day, you guys, I'll actually upload a video. I'll do a walk around in the car, show you guys the car, drive around a little bit in it, show you guys some videos off of it. That way you guys can see exactly what I've got. As you guys can see, the interior is completely gutted right now. I'm prepping for some mods for I'm going to be doing for it. I'll, I'll explain that in my next video. This is basically where all my money has been going. So I haven't really had the money and time to do that. I really needed a car because my other car blew up in June. So I went out of town in July uh, to go bowl nationals up in Buffalo, New York. And when I got back in August, right before school started back, I bought this car so I could get to school and back and not have to use my mom and dad's car and trade off and stuff like that. We kind of need three cars at the house anyways. Nice car. Um, so basically it was really needed that I needed a car. So it was more priority for me to just get this car than save up and do the actual video stuff for YouTube. You guys should start seeing that. I'm hoping before March I should have the videos up for that. I've been doing a lot of stuff and a lot of new stuff in 2014. I've started working for, um, as you guys know, I got a job. Uh, that's where I'm actually heading right now. Uh, I work at a hospital in St. Pete. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want anyone coming here to St. Pete saying, oh, I know you and just harassing everyone and get me fired or anything like that. I just don't want to cause any trouble. So I'm just going to say I work at a hospital in St. Pete. That's that. But I've also started working with SCCA Sports Car Club of America. I'm a corner worker. I've done two events so far. I, I'll put the pictures up on my Facebook fan page, but my first one was the Labor Day weekend race. Uh, in August, I don't know, shoot me because I'm wrong, can't remember Labor Day right now. I believe it was in August, the end of August, something like that. Um, my first day on the job, actually, it was a Saturday at Seabury International Raceway. I was working turn four or five and uh, the last race of the day was a uh, enduro 90 minute race and the first pace lap a Mazda RX-7 FD body the first generation of the RX-7 came in our corner on fire and the fuel cell was on fire so me and a buddy jumped over the wall with two fire bottles and stuck the fire bottles inside the car 
got the fire out before the fire crews got there and made sure the driver was safe and all that stuff. I was actually really proud that we were able to do that and get the fire out that quickly. There was no, not that much damage done to the car other than some wiring damage in the back and of course the fuel cell is going to have to be redone. The driver is just going to have to go buy a new suit and helmet, Hans device, all that stuff. I worked two races. I worked the Labor Day weekend at Sebring and the Turkey Trot at Sebring and I love both of them. They're they're amazing. I love being a corner worker. You're right there beside the track. You get to see everything that's going on. And it's just, it's a really cool experience. And I like that and I want to keep doing it. So that's where I'm going to be doing a lot of my stuff at in the next couple months. I've got, uh, I'll be working the 24 hours of Daytona next month. And I will be working the 12 hours of Sebring, uh, St. Pete Grand Prix, possibly even the Formula E event in Miami in March. I can't really post any videos of it yet, or while I'm there, I'll try to get some at the 24, but they're pretty strict on getting cameras with the corner workers and us showing what we do. I don't understand why, but they're really strict about it. I mean, I can understand maybe that they don't want us on our phones and all that stuff, but recording it, I feel it kind of promotes what we do out there at the tracks and gets people involved in it through social media, like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. It gets people to say, wow, you get to be right there on the track and experience it firsthand, which I've learned more in the last, in the two races that I've worked at than, than I have just total watching it. It's it's really cool. It's, it's really surreal once you actually get there and see it and see the cars like honestly 20 feet in front of you. No wall or fence in between you just watching the cars race. It's really cool. It's really exciting. I'll be working that a lot. Uh, other than that, I really haven't done that much this year. Uh, just been go-kart racing a lot. That uh, That's where I put a lot more money. Probably too much money this year, honestly. I raced at raced at a couple places across the U.S. I raced up in Buffalo when I was up there at, uh, I think it was Pole Position Raceway. It was, it was in the middle of a mall. It was actually really cool. Just walking in a mall and all of a sudden you see this Indy car sitting out in the middle of the mall. You're like, what's going on here? And then you look up and there's a go-kart track on the second floor of a mall. Almost crapped myself when I saw that. It was freaking awesome. Uh, then I raced in Mooresville, North Carolina at GoPro Motorplex. A lot of actually NASCAR drivers and IndyCar drivers go there and practice and race. And when I was actually there, uh, about, I want to say six guys from Penske Racing actually came there and started racing with me. And I, I wasn't able to keep up with them. It's a long story about me and and uh, gas carts because I'm so big there's low end torque there's no low end torque on the gas carts so it's a lot harder for me to drive the gas carts and keep up speed but I was I think I was three seconds behind them I was running like 68 seconds a lap uh, that was my fastest lap that's not bad for your first time there they were in about 65 64 so I mean I wasn't disappointed it was pretty good then I've been racing a lot around here in Tampa most of the videos I do is a Tampa Bay Grand Prix they're all electric indoor carts. The, those are the ones where I can really go up in there and haul ass and kick some ass around there. They're electric, so there's a lot of low end torque, which is good for me, so I can get up and get some more speed a lot easier. That's just, that's what I prefer right now until I lose a little weight. Uh, that's, I say this every year, it's my New Year's resolution, lose weight, Ooh, I think that's what everyone says. Holidays are coming around, get fat, and then you're like, ugh, I lose weight. And then about two weeks into the next year, you're like, fuck this I don't want to lose weight this is too much work but I'm actually gonna do it and everyone says that too like what the fuck how can I say this and actually be like legit about it and not just bail out on it I don't know I'm gonna have to do something if I don't stay with it do something stupid I'll have to think about that because I really need to do this everyone says that too yeah 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 I need to do this I need to lose weight it's for my health da, 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 da. two weeks in they're like oh I'm done. I quit. I quit my diet. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm probably going to start gonna start working out at the gym. Every... Shut up. Everyone says that too. I don't know what to do. But you know what? Damn it. I'm going to lose weight this year. My goal is to get down to about 240 pounds by the end of the year. Damn, that's a lot of weight. I can lose 60 pounds. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it. YOLO. I'm going to get that. My goal for the end of the year is 240 pounds. And... I'm gonna do that. That's what that's what I'm gonna do. So that's 
my goal for next year. Upload more videos and lose a crap ton of weight. Also, I'm gonna be graduating high school in the, the end of May, so I'll be able to do a lot more videos then. I'll be working a lot more. This is honestly really hitting me because once I graduate high school, all I'm gonna be doing is working full time until I go to college. I'm planning on going to a Universal Technical Institute in Mooresville, North Carolina. I'm gonna be going to the NASCAR Technical Institute there, uh, learn how to work on race cars, build race cars, and hopefully go work on a race team. <laughs> I actually have a secret I'm gonna tell you guys in my next video about all that stuff. So what I want you guys to do is like the video, subscribe if you're new, and yes, I am gonna do that to you guys, but first, hang on. I wish you guys hear my car real quick. Another teaser. This is it. That's all you're gonna be able to hear. Rev bomb, that's it. We're done. All right, guys, I'm out. Tarp 95 Like the video, subscribe if you're new. I'll have the secret up in my next video. Well, you guys look at me all weird and everything. Hi, deuces.